Hi, I'm PJ McTavish. Welcome back to another Deep Sheet tutorial. Uh, as I said before, or as you can see, we're going to do uh, short questions, and these are from 2015 paper. So we'll start off with A1. So as I said in the previous videos, uh, the marking schemes for 2015 leaves their paper aren't out yet. So uh, if I upload these during the summer, you'll have a, might have a good idea how you got on during the exam. Okay, so question A1. The 3D graphic below shows the display box for chocolate eggs, which is based on a truncated prism. The drawing below shows the incomplete pictorial and autographic projections of the square braced prism, which has been cut by the oblique bane plane VTH. So we have a 3D of it here, and then your 2D autographic of it here on the right. Okay, and you have your plane VTH cutting the prism. So what do they want you to do? Part A, on the autograph projection on the right, complete the plan elevation of the cup prism. B, complete the pictorial projection of the cup prism. And C, on the autograph projection on the right, determine the true length of the shorter diagonal of the cut surface. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start labeling through the points. Okay, so they've started off for you. There is a lot of it done, so you can see there, they're giving you the height for point 0.3 and they're giving you the height for point 0.2. And look at the drawing, they're giving you a lot of information. So, by projecting your points from plan parallel to the horizontal trace up to the XY line, drawing that straight up to it hits the vertical trace is going to give you the height for that point in elevation. And bring it over parallel to XY line, and that was your height. So, they went parallel to the horizontal trace, perpendicular to the XY line and then parallel to the XY line. Okay. Now you could project up uh, the plan up here and do uh, an auxiliary elevation, show your plane cutting through it and get your heights off that. But seeing as they've shown you how to do two of the points here, let's continue on with that process, all right, with that method. So we need to project the same angle as the horizontal trace. So set that up to make sure it's the same angle. We'll project up point 0 first, so project up point 0 parallel to it till you hit the XY line. Where you hit the XY line, draw that straight up till you hit the vertical trace. And that's not giving you your height, and if I project that height across until I reach the line for point 0, that'll give me my point 0 here. Okay, so parallel to horizontal trace, straight up to hit the vertical trace, and parallel takes one line over to give you your height. Now do point one as well. Okay, so that's point zero, one, two, and you have three there. So join them in freehand light or join them in lightly, and then we can go over it strong. Alright, the plan is uh, straightforward, it's just going to, you're just going to see that square, alright, because your heights are all on the same point there, so just throwing that in strong. So as you can see there, that's your cut surface now in the elevation and in the plan, okay, hidden detail here for point 3 because it's at the back, and that's it done. So part A, on the autograph projection on the right, complete the plan elevation of the cup prism. Okay, we've done that. Uh, B, complete the pictorial projection of the cup prism. So here we have the pictorial projection of it. And as you can see, the vertical trace is hitting the vertical plane here. The horizontal trace hitting the horizontal plane. And the line, or the line that joins them there is your XY line. So if that's your XY line, this is the plan, that's the elevation. Now, knowing that, we can mark in our same point. So this is point 0, point 1, 2, and 3. And as you can see, they've done points 2 and 3 for you already, they've put in the heights for them. So again, they follow the same plan or the same methods as they did in the autographic projection. All right. This is just a 3D pictorial version of it. So 
If you project your points parallel to the horizontal trace until they hit the XY line, project them straight up along the vertical plane until they hit the vertical trace, that's giving you your height, and project that back out again parallel to XY line. In this case again is going to be parallel to horizontal trace until you cut your line. So that's giving us point three, and that's giving us point two. All right, so you do the same now, point zero and point one. So I do point zero first. So project it parallel to the horizontal trace until you hit the XY line. Project it straight up until you hit the vertical trace, and then bring it back out the same angle to find the height. The same angle as the horizontal trace, that's going to give you 0 0.0. So, Z parallel here to the horizontal trace, vertically straight up, and then when you hit the vertical trace, you bring it back out and again it's parallel to the horizontal trace. Okay, 2.1. So now you have your points. So we have points 0, 1, 2, and 3. So let's join them all in lightly. Now draw them in strong. Okay, so as you can see there, that's your cut surface now. And they even did the hidden detail for you at the back. So just put in the heights again of point zero, one, two, and 3 we're done for you, join them up and that's part B done. Okay, so complete the pictorial projection of the cut prism. Now part C, on the autograph projection on the right determine the true length of the shorter diagonal of the cut surface. Okay, so true shape of the shorter diagonal. So in this case, 0 to 2 will be your longest and from the looks of it here and the shorter one then is 3 to 1 so if we join 3 to 1 there just in red and same plan so I want you to join or sorry draw, find the true length of this diagonal okay so the true length of it now if you want a true length you're going to have to show it uh, parallel to XY line and at least one of the views and in this case neither are so what I'm going to do is rotate out in the plan I'm going to rotate maybe bring point 0.1 up or point 0.3 down depends on what looks the best what's giving me the most room I might rotate it down so if we draw a line out from 1 here so draw a line parallel to XY line. Okay, so it's parallel to XY line. And rotate point 0.3 around point 0.1 so it's parallel to the XY line. So this is rotate point 0.3 down. So right here is your new point 0.3. Now because point 3 is parallel to uh, the XY line now in plan, if we bring point 3 up and find the height of it across here in the elevation joining back to 1, it should give you a true length. So bring point 3 straight up. So project it up. And the height's going to remain the same. The height will stay the same here. So this is the height for point three. So it being point three from there over to the left hand side here. This is point three. So if that's your new point three, and that's where we left one where it was. So join point three back down to one, and that will give you a true length. So I'll put that in a red, show it's the same line. Okay, and that's part C done. So by rotating the 3 to 1 line down to its parallel to XY line, it will mean it's a true length in your opposite view to it, so in the elevation. So bring point 3 straight up, 
we're going to hide a bit across that's your point 3 join it back to where it was join it back to the other side of which was point 1 which we left there and that's your true length ok so that's the question done um, I hope that all looks familiar and that's something that she did in the exam itself and uh, I hope that helped and if it did please leave a like and we'll see you in the next one ok thank you and good luck Thank <laughs> you.